Introduce myself again, I'm Keith Ford, Senior Manager of Facilities Operations for Crestwood. We're going to tour the facility. Uh, basically, we're going to walk in between the tanks and the rail cars, and I'll entertain questions as we go along, but I'll have the opportunity to explain the capabilities, storage capabilities, also operational capabilities of the Montgomery Terminal. Any questions before we step off? All right, let's go. Just to address some of the, the storage capabilities of the Montgomery Terminal, there are 290s and 275,000 gallon tanks, 330,000 gallons. Uh, in addition to, we're able to hold and unload 16 rail cars. So it gives you, so counting the rail cars as storage, it gives you 810,000 gallons of propane. Well, we can offload at our four uh, loading racks. Well, transport takes about 9,800 gallons, uh, depending on the size. Most of them are 10 fives that come through here, the larger ones. So it'll take, it'll take about 9,800 gallons, 17 minutes. That's great time for a driver. They're going to spend the majority of their time in the lanes. Uh, as you can see today, there's, uh, we had a line of 10 at one time. So four in the lane and 10 lined up, that's 14. But you can see that they move progressively uh, through the terminal. Let's walk this way. We can fill a transport in 17 minutes. Well, how do you do that? Can pumps, 750 gallons a minute out of each pump. Uh, the pumps are designed depending on how many trucks are at the loading rack and how many uh, um, lanes are operational. So over to your right, our rail tower is equipped, equipped with fall protection to protect our employees as well. Uh, again, all 16 cars, liquid and vapor, can be offloaded in five and a half hours, which is, which is really uh, outstanding and, and it really creates an efficient operation. 891 compressors. So these 891 compressors give us the capability of pushing the propane off the rail cars into our storage. Uh, typically, some most bought plants are either 491 or 691. With 891s, you can really move some product quickly. Uh, yeah, especially when, you, when you're vaporing down, uh, this is the, the uh, type of force you need to push the product, to push that excess vapor out. You're, you're talking close to 1,000 gallons that if you don't pull the vapor down, you're sending it back. And you already paid for that product. All right, let's head back. We'll take a look at the loading rack. So our technology for the loading rack is supported by uh, a, 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 a PLC system called TopTech. But the drivers will come in based off, use the keypad, entering the facility, they're into a code, that code will transmit information to the loading rack, and it'll authorize them to pull that, uh, that load that they're assigned for that particular time. If they have one or two loads, they'll have another one when they return. Uh, that prevents a driver coming in and just randomly pulling product from a facility Without, without authorization. And that's truly a, a great safeguard. Some facilities don't have, throughout the country, don't have that capability. Some of them are full service, self-service. You go in, you load, you do volumetric weight, you do the calculations and write your own BOL. This is a, 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 um, a high-tech system that we can control the inventory with. And also inside, we also have uh, automatic tank gauges, so you can see the levels inside of the building as well, which really helps with inventory control. Obviously, everything here is high tech, so we use smart, smart hose technology with the hoses as well. That, that's one of the, the popular forms of technology in the business lately. Uh, typically, we would have the 25-foot uh, or 15-foot hoses that we would use uh, with no safety technology on it other than um, the couplings. With the smart hoses, in the event there's a pull away, there's a process which it secures the flow of product and it protects the operator and anyone that may be around. Let's head back and conclude the tour.